Hey guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the add and subtract uh, complex numbers. It's kind of what we were doing yesterday, but I know it's a little bit difficult, so I'm going to hopefully simplify them and make it a little bit easier for you. So these are the two types you can have. The first type, we have a plus here between them, and the second type, we have a minus. So the second type is a bit harder than the first, so we'll start off here at the beginning. So we have two types of numbers here, real numbers and imaginary numbers. So the imaginary numbers have the i in front of them. Okay? And all we need to know is that we can add real numbers to real numbers and imaginary numbers to imaginary numbers, but we can't add things that are different. So we can't add these two together. We can't make that set line. So first of all, I'm going to get rid of the first bracket here. Okay? It comes in a bracket. I know it's a little bit confusing, but we're not too worried about that. So I'm left with 4 plus 3, 5. Now, because this is a plus, when if there's a plus here, all we do is just get rid of this bracket as well. So it's plus two i, or sorry, plus two, plus four i. And what we can do is we can add together our i's and our real numbers. So four plus two gives me six, and three i plus four i gives me seven i. That's my answer, six plus seven i. Hopefully that's not too bad. This one here is a little bit trickier, but not too much, not too much more difficult. So we'll start off at the beginning as well. We get three plus two i. We get rid of the bracket in that. Now this minus changes the signs. If there's a minus, we just change all the signs in here. So that four, that's a positive four. Okay, there's there's nothing behind it. So I'm going to change that to a minus four, and that's a minus i or a minus one i. I'm going to change that to a plus i. And then all I do is, I do 3 minus 4. And 3 minus 4, but if I have 3 euro, but I'm 4 euro in debt, I'm still a euro in debt, so it's minus 1. And I've got 2i plus 1i gives me 3i. That's my answer there. Numbers to numbers, real numbers to real numbers, i's to i's, imaginary numbers to imaginary numbers. Hopefully that's not too bad, but look, we'll see how you get on.